What's going on, world? This is your girl K Rich. I'm coming to you from a PK perspective. It is raining pretty hard, so I hope everybody can hear me. This is just something quick that as I was sitting here, I was looking over a text that a friend sent me, and as I was sitting here, I just like got all of this flood of of, of revelation, I guess, into some of the things that we do and we go through. So it's crazy that sometimes when we're in these situations that we don't realize that the word still applies. So this is a scripture that we hear a lot and we've heard over and over is, and whatever's bound on earth is bound in heaven, whatever's loose on earth is loose in heaven. And understanding the principle of, of how we are uh, we are uh, uh, allowed and, and, and uh, forced to operate in the physical realm and that spirits can't just come out and operate in the physical realm and all that wonderful stuff, right? So a lot of times we go through situations where we're hurt, uh, we, we are emotionally hurt, we go through stuff and, and we get... We get so damaged in just daily life, and it's crazy that when something, when someone's hurt, um, you 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 bind the wound, right? You wrap it up, you wrap it up so that it can heal, and you wrap it up so that it's protected from the elements. And in some cases, and in a lot of cases, that's wonderful because you don't want anything to get in, you don't want there to be infection, you don't want there to be a whole bunch of stuff um, getting into the wound as it heals. But a lot of times. We bind up these wounds, these emotional wounds, these these mental wounds, and instead of allowing the wound to heal, we're just binding it up for protection. And we bind ourselves up so tight that nothing can get in and nothing can get out. We're not really going through a healing process. There's no treatment being done. We're just bound up and over and over and over. And, and eventually, we can really be walking around spiritually looking like mummies emotionally looking like mummies because we're so bound and what's crazy is we cannot have any effect in the spirit realm when we're bound because we're bound on earth we're bound, it's bound in heaven right whatever's bound on earth is bound in heaven if mentally you're bound up the, the spiritual warfare that you would go through in your mind will be in, ineffective that the the the, the uh, spiritual warfare will be ineffective we have to to unravel some of these wounds because once a wound gets to a certain point, by binding it up and wrapping it up, we're actually going and, and working negatively against it. We're not allowing the air to get to it. We're not allowing it to dry up. We're not allowing it to scab up. We're actually stifling the healing process. And in a lot of aspects, when we have these emotional uh, um, issues and emotional scars and, 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 and wounds, we, we leave the bandages on entirely too long. We're not going through a healing process. We're just bound. And that's, that can be detrimental in our effectiveness that can be detrimental in how we're living our lives so i want to encourage you guys to to unwrap some of these bandages that we placed on actually stretching yourself out in the areas that you've been hurt i know for me a lot of times it's relationship sometimes it's just dealing with people of course i'm a pk so church hurt is you know that's one that's a paper cut nowadays <laughs> to me but there are areas where I I'm I see and it's like God's revealing to me that I was bound I'm I'm still binding it up to quote unquote protect it right to be healing it to, to to be doing whatever but I'm not going through a healing process I'm just bound up I haven't let anybody touch it I haven't let the doctor see it I haven't gone and this is emotionally or mentally there are areas where we're walking around like this and it's it can be it can be so problematic because we think. I'm, I'm learning to function like that. When everybody else sees us walking around like mummies and we're wondering why uh, relationships, people are so hard to come up and you're wondering why, you know, people, oh, they're looking at me different. They're treating me different. It's because sometimes the people that God places around you, he places around you to point out those flaws so that you can see, hey, this is not normal. This is a dysfunction and begin to unwrap some of those scars and some of that stuff that you have that has hurt you or caused you to have the, the anxieties or the frustrations and it's just binding it up. You have to begin unraveling. You have to get counseling. You have to get someone to, to, that, that knows how to mentor you. You have to get around people that know how to love you. You have to open it up so that the air can get to it so that it can scab and the healing process can begin. So I'm doing this quick video. Don't be bound up. Allow yourself to heal. Go through a healing process. Go through what you got to do to heal. But don't just sit there and be bound up. That makes you ineffective. That makes uh, uh, that, that that does not allow allow you to heal the right way. And you'll walk around dysfunctional and in the mummy. And you will not be effective on earth. You will not be effective in the spirit realm because you will be bound up mentally, spiritually, and in some cases physically. So I love you guys. I hope that helps somebody the way it helped me because it really did help me. And on this. Crazy rainy day. I want everybody out there to go be great. Peace.